Namaskar students. Today we are discussing a comprehensive problem on admission of a power. This type of question you can expect for 8 mark. As usual, you can pause this video and write down the question and that question can be kept with you while solving the uh, this question. So, while going through the solving part also, you have to have this question with you and uh, uh, step by step you can observe especially uh, how to treat each adjustments. So, the question reads like this, X and Y are in partnership sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 3 is to 2. Their balance sheet asset 31st March 2019 given here. They have liabilities in the liability side. Capital accounts for X and Y is given and current account also is given. What it means? They are following fixed capital method of preparation of capital accounts. So, the adjustments are given. A provision, first adjustment is like this. A provision for 5% uh, to be created on that is. Accrued income of Rs. 1500 does not appear in the books of account. That means a new liability is to be created. And uh, Rs. 5000 for outstanding salary. A new asset is to be created, accrued income and uh, new liability, outstanding salary is to be created. Then present value of investment uh, 6000. So, Market value of investment is 6,000. Investment got decreased. And X take over the investment for 6,000 rupees. Then new profit sharing ratio of partners is 5, 4 is to 3 is to 2. Z will bring rupees 20,000 as his capital. Then again says that Z is to pay in cash an amount of amount equal to his share of firm's goodwill valued at twice the average profit of the last three years. So, last three years profit is given here 30,000, 26,000 and 25,000 respectively. Then it says, half of the amount of goodwill is withdrawn by the old partners. From the goodwill brought in by the new partner, that is is such, half of which is uh, taken over by the other partners. And at the same time, Existing goodwill also is there. In balance sheet, you can see asset side, a goodwill is there. So, that also you have to treat how to solve. Then, you are required to pass journal entries, prepare revaluation accounts, capital accounts, current accounts and the opening balance sheet of the new firm. So, now, we will leave the space for journal. Okay, you can leave around one and a half long page in your notebook for preparing journal and after that we can see how to prepare the ledger accounts. Here is a revaluation account. We can write that heading on top revaluation account then comes particular amount, particular amount we can write here. Then see the first adjustment. Provision of 5% is to be created on debtors. Liability increased. Provision for doubtful debts we have to create. We can write if liability increases, it can be shown on the debit side. So, debit side to provision for doubtful debts. How much? 5% of debtors. 5% of debtors is to be created. Debtors we have 20,000. 20,000, it's 5% is 1000 rupees, we have 800 rupees already. So, in order to reach 1000 rupees, how more we have, we have to create? 200 more we have to create that we are writing here. 200 rupees. Then next, next adjustment, accrued income. A new asset came. Accrued income came. That also we have to write. So, we can write here, uh, accrued income. How much? Accrued income, we have uh, 1500, that can be written here, 1500. Next, 
liability arise liability increase that we can show here outstanding salaries how much amount 5000 is there that also we have to write okay then patents is the market value of 6000 patents value decreased and it is taken over by uh, the partner so uh, that is to be shown in his uh, in the capital account of partners that we have to write here okay so uh, we will write that amount here so this shows 2000 shows the value decrease in the value of investment so that we have written on the debit side then then comes we have uh, uh, current accounts that means revaluation account loss will be taken uh, loss is there so that loss will be shown on the uh, credit side because here uh, the adjustments are over okay so we are writing the total here 5000 7200 7200 is written here and taken on the credit side and found out the balance balance we have 5700 that loss will be shared among the partners so we have studied that loss will be credited to the capital accounts but since they have they are preparing capital account under fixed capital method it will be transferred to their current account how we came to know that they are preparing capital account under fixed capital method because in the balance sheet current account balance also given so for x how much will be paid uh, 3420 that is 3 fifth of 5700 then next for y uh, 2208 okay so this is the revaluation account revaluation account we have prepared and got the loss 5700 and they have shared it then let us prepare capital account capital account of partners capital account of x y z so capital account of x y z we have prepared <coughs> and uh, particulars amount particulars amount for all the partners credit side we can write opening balance opening balance for x it is given here 60000 and y 30000 and there is no opening balance for z but he brings some capital so by cash we can write in his capital 20000 and debit side uh, no entry is there because it is fixed capital account so only capital entries are there here as per this question that balance we have to find out balance we have got here 60,000, 30,000 and 20,000 what can be written here as the general entry to balance carry down okay so this is the capital account of partners then let us see the current account so this is the current account we are preparing the current account of x y and z same way uh, there by this heading is written and now we have to calculate uh, the share of goodwill brought in by the incoming partner how will be shared among the other partners for that we have to find out the sacrificing ratio of the partners so that heading we have written here sacrificing ratio is equal to old ratio minus new ratio then x sacrifice we can find out x sacrifice it's his old share is 3 by 5 and new share 4 by 9 so his sacrifice 7 by 45 and same way for y 2 by 5 um, minus 3 by 7 so it is 3 by 45 therefore the 
sacrificing ratio of x and y is 7 is to 3. Okay. Then uh, let us see calculation of goodwill. How, how much goodwill should be brought in by z. Then for that we have to calculate the goodwill as per the uh, information given here we have to find out the average profit first average profit of three years is given here so that we have to find out that is equal to 27,000 average profit is 27,000 that means 30,000 plus 26,000 plus 25,000 by 3 then we have to write the equation for goodwill goodwill is equal to average profit into number of years purchase price then Average profit we have 27,000 into 2. So, goodwill total goodwill of the firm is 54,000. Now, we have to find out Z share of goodwill. Z share of goodwill is equal to 54,000 into his share. That means 2 by 9. So, Z share of goodwill is 12,000. That can be shared among other partners. Okay. So, 12,000 is the 12,000 is Z share of goodwill that will be shared by X and Y in the ratio of 7 is to 3 because that is their sacrificing share. So, 12,000 will be shared in uh, 7 by 10 and 3 by 10. So, let us write the opening balance of current account. So, we are starting with the current account by writing the opening balance by balance drawdown for X. Opening balance is given here 10,000 and for Y 2,000. Okay, then uh, we can write the next general entry general reserve sharing. General reserve here it is 12,000, it will be shared in their old ratio among X and Y. Actually, there is no need of preparing Z's current account because there is no general entry for Z. Okay, but still I have prepared here. You need not prepare Z's column for current account. Then next, uh, here what is the next adjustment? Uh, he is bringing the goodwill. This goodwill will be shared in their sacrificing ratio. So premium for goodwill will be written in X capital 12,000 into 7 by 10, 8,400 and for Y, 12,000 into 3 by 10, 3,600. So, uh, that's all. And uh, now we have to write of goodwill also. Goodwill we have to write it off. Before that, investment is taken over by Z. That also we can write. Investment is taken over by Z at 6000. So we have written that who has taken over, X has taken over by for 6000. Then next we can write revaluation loss. Revaluation loss for X, Y, X and Y will be written here. Okay. Uh, first let us write for X, then Y. Then we'll write here next goodwill, existing goodwill is sharing among X and Y. So that also written here. Now the entries are over. We can find out the closing balances. Closing balance for X total 25,600 that we have written here and his balance 5980 like that for y 10400 return the debit side and found the balance and return the debit side so what can be written here to balance carry down balance carry down is written so with that we are going to prepare the capital sorry balance sheet balance sheet of the new form. So before that, before completing the balance, let us prepare the journal. So these journal entries are over. So now I have told you to leave the space for journal. You may be understood that why it is 
because after preparing the ledger account it will be easy for preparing the journal but when you are preparing when you are leaving the space for journal it should be left before starting revaluation account because normally first journal comes and after that we have to post from journal to ledger but for understanding purpose we have started from ledger here ledger accounts here so we have here a journal with the journal heading journal entries and we, first we are going to write the uh, journal entry the first journal entry we can write with the revaluation revaluation here uh, provision for doubtful debts and outstanding salaries two liabilities arise so revaluation account debtor to provision for doubtful debts and to outstanding salaries okay before that let us see the heading of reval this uh, journal then amount debit side and credit side for provision for doubtful debts 200 and the outstanding salary we have here 5000 and the date also we have to write 2019 april 1 okay the next journal entry uh, we have accrued income a new uh, asset realized so accrued income debtor to revaluation amount return and uh, that also we have to write okay narration also we had to write being increase in the value of accrued income then next next January we can write on the same day uh, <coughs> investment is taken over by the partner so X taken over the in investment X current account debtor he has taken over at a reduced value of 6000 so revaluation loss is there that can be written 2000 and uh, total value of investment 8000 okay is it clear so being investment is taken over by x at a uh, revised value that revised value is, is here a reduced value sometimes it will be taken at a higher price also that then that we have to uh, write then if it is at a higher price revaluation will be credited here then next to general entry we can write here x current account debtor so uh, x current that means revaluation loss x current account debtor y current account debtor to revaluation their share of loss we are writing and 5700 total loss being loss on revaluation shared among all the partners Next, let us see. Next to general entry. So, next to general entry, we are writing sharing of general reserve. General reserve, we had uh, 12,000 rupees. So, 12,000 rupees will be shared among uh, all the partners. So to Z's current X current account and Y's current account. Amount also is written. Okay. So being uh, all the partners share the general reserve. Then next we can write <coughs> Sharing of goodwill is there. So, X current account data, Y current account data to goodwill. Existing goodwill is shared among the partners. Okay. Existing goodwill is shared among the partners. The next. After sharing the existing goodwill among the partners, we can write the adjustment of 
new partners on capital capital he has brought so he will write cash account at to his capital so his amount of 20000 rupees capital we have written being capital brought in by the new partner then the share of goodwill goodwill premium we can write cash account at to uh, premium for goodwill then good premium for goodwill debtor to new part sorry sacrificing partners capital so here we are writing instead of these two generators a single generator that is cash account debtor to sacrificing partners capital so goodwill we have 12000 that is shared among x uh, 8400 and y 3600 Okay, then that also we have written. Then comes the last general entry. <coughs> ah, out of this half of the premium for goodwill is shared among the partners. That is taken over by the partner. So half X capital that we have. here half of the amount is withdrawn by the partner that uh, we have not mentioned here uh, that we have it is there here in current account half is withdrawn see premium for goodwill 8400 3600 we have out of that uh, 4200 1800 each they are withdrawing that also is there so Uh, that we are writing here the general entry x capital debtor y capital current account debtor the respective amount will be written here then to cash okay so the general entry is over now we are we can continue the last part balance sheet so balance sheet heading balance sheet as on april 1 2019 heading is written let us see on the asset side asset side we have first cash cash we have 31000 then debtors we can write the amount inner column 20000 because 5% decrease is there so 5000 is deducted and uh, shown the amount out column then we have patents investment is not there it is taken over by the partner so patent we have written then next pre, uh, fixed asset is there 72000 has no change that is written and uh, accrued income a new asset increase so new asset came into the business that is shown here then here on the liability side we can show first the creditors creditors 15000 we have then one new liability arise outstanding salaries written that then next we can write the capital account balance of x y and z so their capital account we have in their capital account we have got the balance that we are writing here 60000 and 30000 in the same way we will write their current account balances also for x and for y so our balance sheet both side is equal Thirty-eight thousand three hundred on the liability side as well as asset side. So I hope all of you understood this. So in the same way you can solve the question, and you can um, solve. You can see the solution here, and with the question you can prepare. A, you can find out the solution once again. You can write it in a separate paper, okay, and check that. And if there is any doubt, you can. communicate that to me okay thank you